Despite improved relations between Havana and Washington, Cuba does not have access to state-of-the-art U.S. drilling technology or its spill recovery equipment. But that could change with an agreement at a conference in Havana. CCTV's Michael Voss reports. Cuba does have onshore oil deposits and believes there are much larger reserves out at sea. In 2012, three deep water exploration wells were drilled but failed to find commercial quantities of oil or gas. What it did raise was safety concerns in the United States since a major oil spill in Cuban waters would also end up polluting the Florida coastline. Under the U.S. trade embargo, Cuba can't use oil rigs fitted with state-of-the-art American drilling and safety devices, nor can it purchase oil recovery equipment such as booms and skimmers. This week's conference in Havana, called Safe Seas, Clean Seas, is the first such meeting since Cuba and the United States re-established diplomatic relations. I am very optimistic regarding the future of the relationship between the United States and Cuba uh, on the field of security or safety and the protection of the environment. In Washington, the Obama administration has indicated that it's considering exceptions to the embargo for items aimed at protecting U.S. coastal environments. This isn't the first time that U.S. oil men have come here to discuss safety issues with their Cuban counterparts, but there is an added urgency to the talks now that the Cuban government's announced it's about to resume deep water oil exploration next year. Chairing the conference is Lee Hunt, former president of the International Association of Drilling Contractors. There is an added urgency, and the urgency is to do things before drilling begins, not after they begin. As we saw one of the speakers uh, state, the time for reaching agreement and negotiating relationships is not during a crisis. It's before the crisis. The two sides are hoping that with diplomatic relations restored, Cuba and the U.S. can agree on a joint emergency response action plan before any future drilling takes place. Michael Voss, CCTV. Havana.